Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students, sponsored by the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, wvacrao.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Hello everyone, my name is Holly Montana. I'm gonna share my screen here first here. Oh, well, to wait for Philip. There we go. Okay, I'm bring it over here. Okay, my name is Holly Montana. I'm the admissions counselor at Garrett College. We are actually not located in West Virginia. We are located in Maryland. We are located in Western Maryland to be exact. We're about an hour from Morgantown, West Virginia, which most people that live in West Virginia know where Morgantown is. So here on the beginning screen on my slideshow here, this is a QR code. So if you're interested in joining our mailing list, you can hover over that in your camera app and it'll take you to our online inquiry card that you could fill out and then you'll receive more information via mail. So a little bit about us, like I said, we're located in Western Maryland. We're a two-year public college. We offer associate's degrees, transfer programs, and certificate programs. We also offer two programs that, offer, that aren't offered anywhere else in the state of Maryland, and I'll get to those later. We also offer residence halls, which we are one of two in the state of Maryland that offer on-campus housing. Uh, it's us, Garrett College, and Allegheny College, which is the county next to us. We have athletic teams, student amenities, and numerous activities outside the classroom. This is just our quick facts, so lots of numbers here. Um, we are the smallest community college in the state of Maryland with about 700 students per year. We also offer two study abroad trips per year. That's also a nice little thing about our college. Uh, you do get uh, college credit for traveling abroad. It's in the summer and it's also in the winter. We also have a very small classroom size as well. It's 13 to one student to faculty ratio with about 15 to 20 in a classroom, depending on what class you're taking. Obviously English and math are gonna be a little higher because everybody has to take those classes. But getting into your core courses, you're looking at um, anywhere as low as seven, seven to 15, I'd say. So, and if you have any questions, I don't know if I mentioned this, put, the, put it in the chat box and I can answer them during this presentation. Um, just FYI. Hi, Holly. Sorry to interrupt you real quick. Um, I'm not sure if your um, presentation is actually uh, loaded. Um, I'm just seeing a blank screen, so I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. God, this would happen. Well, let me start over. Well... My screen went. <laughs> Story of my life. I should have tested this before we did this. Where is my PowerPoint? It's like on the screen, but I can't share it. There should be, um, if you see okay. the green uh, share screen button. Um, okay, can you see it now? Yep, good to go. Oh no, I wonder if it was like that the whole time. Guess we'll find out. I don't You're see anybody. You're good. You're good right. now. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Where were we? Okay, I'm going to skip ahead here. I'll go slow so you can see the slideshow, and just in case you didn't see it from the beginning. Um, this is just where we were located. Um, some quick facts here. And on to admissions requirements. 
So if you're interested in applying to Garrett College, what you would do is complete the online application. It's www.garrettcollege.edu. It, and you click the apply now button. It takes about 10 minutes to fill out and it's free and there's no obligation. So if you were to apply and then a couple months you decide you don't want to go to Garrett, it's totally fine. It's no obligation. <clears throat> Another thing you're going to want to make sure you do is apply for financial aid. This is for any college that you want to attend, not just Garrett. Um, you'll complete the free application for federal student aid and you'll hear it's called the FAFSA. Everyone just says FAFSA. Um, our school code is 010014, just in case you need that. And then submitting your high school transcript once you've graduated. If you have a 2.8 unweighted cumulative GPA, you will not need to take the placement test. You'll be placed right into college level English and math. And then sending us your SAT or ACT scores, if applicable. Um, they're not required for admission, but we would use them for exemption to placement testing if your scores are high enough. So those are the four most important things. Um, for admissions. So once you apply to Garrett College and you've been accepted, you'll receive your acceptance letter one to two weeks um, after you, you've applied. And you also receive this document along with your acceptance letter. So this is the steps to enrolling at Garrett College document. It has lots of little bullet points to check off as you go through the process, starting from the admissions process all the way to new student orientation. So the whole entire way, there's things that you can look at that are really important here. Um, and you can see the mark your calendar when our semesters start. Academic programs. On the left-hand side, we got associate's degree programs. Those are our two-year programs. Some of them are designed to go directly into the workforce. And then some of them are also designed to go to a four-year college so that you can finish your bachelor's degree. The two programs I was mentioning that are not offered anywhere else in the state of Maryland are natural resources and wildlife technology and um, adventure sports management. So those two are not offered anywhere in the state of Maryland. And I can show you on the website where you can read more about those programs if that's something that sounds interesting to you. On the right hand side, we've got our certificate programs. So the first two are a year long program. There's no core or there's no um, general education classes. It's all core classes. Um, so you're not taking English, math, and your general eds, you're just taking core classes. Now the paramedic is a um, program which you already have to be an EMT. There's a whole list of requirements on our website you can read more about if that's something that interests you as well. And then we also have our transfer programs. Um, we work really well with the Allegheny College of Maryland, which is another two-year college in, in Maryland. Uh, we offer all of the pre-allied health services, um, like pre-nursing, it's a big one. A lot of the students that don't get housing at Allegheny College that really want to go into nursing, they'll start off at Garrett where we have housing available. That's just a, a scenario. Um, and then do all of the prerequisites before going to Allegheny. Paying for college. So you'll see there in the dark blue about how much it's going to cost. That's based on 15 credit hours. Um, so you would just double that for 30 for the whole year. And then you would add on your housing, which I'll show you that another slide here. Um, the one thing that can reduce the cost of tuition if you live in the state of West Virginia is if you're a border county, and I'll show you that in another slide here, or if um, you're majoring, majoring in a certain program that's offered through the West Virginia Reciprocity Program, that can reduce the cost of tuition, get you in county tuition. The other things that can reduce cost is scholarships, obviously, that's at any college. We have over 50 scholarships to assist you. It's just one application and it's just demographic information now. We used to have an essay that you have to fill out, but we're no longer doing that. It's just demographic information. Um, the only one that requires an essay is the Pay It Forward textbook scholarship. You'll have to write just a little essay and then it's demographic information and you could get your books at no cost for one year. And then you'd have to reapply if, that's, if you get it and want it again for next year. So this is the West Virginia Reciprocity Program. Um, there's a lot of words on this page, but um, all that's important. If you're majoring in one of those programs on the left and you live in one of those counties, you would qualify for in-county tuition at Garrett. Um, and that's more than half the, like you would be saving half the cost of out of state. As you can see there, the price is about half. So like if you live in Barber County and you're interested in elementary education and you wanna to come to Garrett, stay on campus, um, you're going to pay in county tuition for the full two years that you're there. So if you want to check out any of those programs, you can look at them at our website. They're pretty straightforward. Maybe 
excuse me, not the NRWT or the Adventure Sports, though. You could read more about those on our website. So the other one is the tuition or the border county rate. Right? You can see there on the slideshow, there's like a, a light green and a dark green. The dark green that is around Garrett County, those counties qualify for a border county rate, which is between an out of county and an out of state rate. So you're still getting a discount if you live in one of those counties and you don't major in one of these programs. But if you do live in Tucker County and you may major in cybersecurity, say, you're gonna get the West Virginia reciprocity, not the border county, because you get a better discount with that. So these are our on-campus housing options. On the left, we've got Garrett Hall, and on the right, we've got Laker Hall. Garrett Hall is more of a traditional style housing. It's a bathroom, um, like a Jack and Jill bathroom, kind of. It's um, the toilet, two sinks, and um, the shower. And then there's two doors. On one side is two people in a, in a room, and then on the other side, two more people. You get a mini fridge and a microwave, and you do have to have a meal plan to live in Garrett Hall because there's no kitchen. So that range is anywhere between 1,000 and 1,300 per semester, um, and you can add money at any time. So if you always wanna start off with $1,000, you can just add money as you go. It's just basically money added to an account um, that you just deduct as you go. Laker Hall is more of a apartment style housing. It You can have your own room in this, complex. It's usually why it's the first one to go because everyone wants their own room, understandably. <laughs> so it has four bedrooms or it has two bedrooms. In the two bedrooms, you share the room with one other person, but you're always, always going to share the apartment with three other people and the bathroom with one other person because there's two bathrooms, no matter how many bedrooms there are. So you can see there are the amenities and then the cost at the bottom. Obviously, the cheaper one is going to be Garrett Hall and then the more expensive is Laker. But just there's different things that make it either low or high, especially if you're in Laker and you want your own room, it's going to be the highest cost. If you want to share a room, it's going to be between those two costs there at the bottom. There are our housing requirements, if you want to look at those, and then those are the room types in Laker Hall. I just like to show, I like to show the layout, it gives you a better idea than me trying to explain it to you. So at the top is the quad where you'd have your own room and the bottom is the double where you'd share a room. And you can see there's a living room, kitchen, like dining area kind of, and you don't need to have a meal plan to live here since there is a kitchen there, but you can always add one if you'd like. Here is Garrett Hall layout. It's two beds. The beds obviously come with it, not the sheets. That's just for pictures. Um, the desks, the um, dressers, you have a lock-in closet. There's the mini fridge and microwave I was talking to you about, and then there's the bathroom, two sinks, toilet, and a shower. Athletics. This is a list of all of the sports that we offer. Um, the newest ones would be our men's JV basketball team. Wrestling, we started that last fall, and then we also started men's and women's cross country and bowling. Bowling's really big in this area. I know it's a really odd sport to get, but it's very big in Western Maryland. <laughs> um, so there's a picture of our community aquatic recreation complex. It's a three court gym. Um, graduation would be held in there. If you're not an athlete, you wouldn't be going in this gym very often. We don't use it for many student events. We have another gym that we use for that kind of thing. So speaking of the community aquatic recreation complex, this is the outside picture right there at the top or the right on, on the top right hand side um, and the center is the gymnasium that gym is open to all staff faculty and students if you're registered in six or more credits you have access to that gym for free if you are an athlete you have your separate gym you wouldn't be working out with the general public and then there at the bottom that's our six lane competition pool and then we have a warm water pool which is really good for athletes after they're done practicing or games stuff like that so there's that and then free time. So Garrett College is located in Garrett County. Garrett County is in a very rural area. Um, we've got all four seasons, which some of you in West Virginia would know what all four seasons are. You're close to us. Um, and then we also live in a touristy area. So we've got lots of things to do outside. We've got the Wisp Resort, which if you are a skier or a snowboarder, they do offer student passes. We have 
lots of hiking trails at Harrington Manor State Park. We have Swallow Falls State Park. It's the largest um, waterfall in the state of Maryland. And then we also have Deep Creek Lake, lots of boating happening there in the summer. Um, and then we, alpha, ugh, we also offer this study abroad trips. So those are, like I said, in winter and in summer. And they're about usually seven to nine days, depending on where they go. And that picture of that is when they went to um, Nicaragua. And then you'll see there we have multiple clubs and organizations. If there's something that you're really interested in that you don't see there on that list, you can always bring that up to Student Life and we can make a um, club for you if there's something you're interested in. We've done that before. So lots of stuff to do in Garrett County. So there's my contact information. I'm gonna show you some info, more information on our website here about programs and stuff like that. Um, but there's that QR code again, if you wanted to join the mailing list. Um, that's me on the left, Holly Montana. There's my contact information. And then I'll also show you where you can plan a, um, or where you can see our virtual tour. Unfortunately, right now we're not doing on-campus tours just because of COVID, unfortunately. Um, we're hoping that'll change this spring. So let me, I'm gonna stop sharing and then share the website here. Okay, this is our website. It's www.garrettcollege.edu. Um, just a couple things I wanted to show you on our website. The admissions and aid, this is where you would come for any information when you start out. Um, financial aid has a, a good page that any student wishing to go to college should check out. Let me see if I can get there. So lots of good information on this page. The thing I like to show students the most is our financial aid guide. It's located on the financial aid tab. Um, it has lots of good information about scholarships, grants. The FAFSA basically breaks it down for you. Um, the only thing that's specific to Garrett College on that is the school code, which like I said is 010014 and then our um, staff, our contact information. So that's the only thing specific um, to that guide, but everything else on there is really good information. Um, if you wanted to plan a visit, like I said, in the spring, hopefully this changes. This is the page you would do that, plan a visit page. It has some information here. Also our virtual open houses are located on this. Um, so you'll get a little bit more information about programs on that. And then some high school visits in the area, that kind of information. So if we change this in the spring and we offer on-campus tours, this is where it would be located under upcoming tour dates. And then down here is our virtual, our virtual campus tour. And I won't show that because sometimes it can be a little glitchy. Um, I just wanted to show you where that's located in case you wanted to see a virtual tour of the college. And then let's see uh, the programs. So the two that I was mentioning, adventure sports management here and then natural resources and wildlife technology. Those are both in our outdoor studies programs. Um, so if you're somebody that really likes outdoors, nature, hiking, biking, fishing, that kind of stuff, you probably really enjoy one of those programs. So I encourage you to go to our website, click on it. Um, I'll just click on this one. It'll tell you, these are all, all of our students too. It'll tell you a little bit about pro the program and what classes you're gonna be taking and then kind of career goals too, which is really nice. Helps you with your jobs afterwards. So core courses are located there. Lots of core courses in our NRWT. It's the only program that actually goes over the allotted 60 credits. It's actually 66 credits and we had to get special permission to get that. And then you'll see the general education required classes. So that's your English, math, you know, sociology, that kind of stuff. So that is under the degrees and programs. Last thing I wanted to show you was our on-campus living. So I showed it to you in the slideshow, but sorry, my internet's a little slow here. If I can get there. Hmm. So it kind of gives you some more information about housing and there's more pictures there if you wanted to see um, 
more pictures of on campus housing. Uh, but to apply, you have to click on this little link here. It looks like an application. You click on that after you've scheduled a new student advising day, which I won't get into that today, but it's basically where you, if you're interested in Garrett, you apply, you're accepted. We contact you in the spring, set up a new student advising day, which is where you take the placement test if you have to do that. And then you register uh, for classes in the same day. When we schedule a new student advising day, we send you a login information, like a login for housing. And that's when you apply for housing. So you can't apply for housing without coming to the admissions office first. So I just wanted to let everybody know about that. So let's see here. I don't know if I can, I think that's it. Criminy, if I can get back to my contact information, that'd be really great. <clears throat> So, but if anybody has any questions, put them in the chat box. If not, I just wanted to give you my contact information here. There it is. So that's my email. There's that QR code again. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. If there's something that sparked your interest, you don't want to ask on here, you can send me an email at any time. But I think that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. And I hope everyone has a great day. Let's see if I can stop sharing my screen now. Thank you, Holly. Um, if any students have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Holly. Um, make sure to take advantage of all the resources that she's provided with you this evening. Um, I'd like to thank you all again for joining us. Uh, when you do close this window, there is going to be a link to a very quick four question survey. Um, we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Uh, again, this is just one of the many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions at wvacrao.org. In about a week, this session will be available to view, um, as along with all the other sessions that have been previously recorded. And again, that is going to be at wvacrao.org. Thank you and have a good evening.